Hello friends, welcome to the session. I am Saumya T.S. Assistant Professor, Government First Rate College, Tech Tour. So in this session, we shall discuss the topic supremum and infimum of a set in the real analysis. So it contains the definition of a real line, bounded sets, supremum and infimum minimum of sets compactness property of the set of real numbers r so the definition of a supremum here we say the definition let s be a set which is bounded above then there exists an infinite number of upper bounds of s let s be a set which is bounded above then there exists an infinite number of upper bounds of s therefore every number greater than upper bound is also an upper bound every number greater than an upper bound is also an upper bound if the set of all upper bounds of a set s has the smallest member say s once again if the set of all upper bounds of a set s has the smallest member say yes then yes is called the least upper bound or supremum of yes and then the smallest yes is called the least upper bound lub which can be written lub or supremum of the set yes next we shall see the definition of infimum if the set yes is bounded below if the set yes is bounded below then there exists an infinite number of lower bounds of yes there exists an infinite number of lower bounds of yes because every number less than lower bound is also a lower bound so we can say that there exists infinite number of lower bounds of yes if the set of all lower bounds of a set yes has the greatest member say t if the set of all lower bounds of the set S yes, has the greatest member say T, then T is called the greatest lower bound or the infimum of the set S. Yes. Then T is called the greatest lower bound or infimum of S. Yes. So on that we shall have the theorem. The theorem states prove that every finite set is bounded, the first one, and Every subset of a bounded set is bounded. Every finite set is bounded and every subset of a bounded set is bounded. So, we shall see the proof for the first subpart. Let the set A contains the elements A1, A2, A3, etc., An and let it be a finite set. The set A is a finite set which has the elements A1, A2, etc., An. Let H b the minimum of a1 a2 a3 etc an and k be the maximum of a1 a2 a3 etc an here we have considered h and k h is the minimum of the set a1 a2 etc an and k is the maximum of a1 a2 etc an then then the element x lies between h and k for all x belongs to the set a therefore we can say that a is bounded because the arbitrary element x lies between the minimum element h and the maximum element k so we can say that the set a is bounded therefore let a be a bounded set there exist two real numbers h and k such that h x lies between h and k for all x belongs to k so we can say that every finite set is a bounded set secondly every subset of a bounded set is bounded so for that we shall see let b be a subset of a then y belongs to b let us consider y belongs to b b be a subset of a and y belongs to b implies y belongs to the set a also because b is a subset of a that implies h which is less than or equal to x, x which is less than or equal to k, for all x belongs to b, for all x belongs to b, therefore b is a bounded set, so if a is bounded set, 
then the subset b of a is also a bounded set next we have some problems on the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound least upper bound in short we can write it as lub and greatest lower bound in short we can write it as glb so the example find the least upper bound and greatest lower bound for the set a which is defined as 1 minus 1 by n for all n belongs to n so we have to find the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound for the set a defined by 1 minus 1 divided by n n being a natural number so for that because the set A is defined by 1 minus 1 by n, n being a natural number, the set will contain the elements 0, if n is equal to 1, if we consider n is equal to 1, then 1 minus 1 by 1, which is equal to 0, if n is equal to 1, then 1 minus 1 by 2, which is 1 by 2, and if n is equal to 3, substituting 3 in the small letter n, 1 minus 1 by 3, you will get a 2 by 3, etc. Therefore, the set A has the elements 0, 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 4, etc. Therefore, the least upper bound of the set A is least upper bound of the set A is 1 and the greatest lower bound of the set A is 0. So, 0 in the start agate, so which is the lower bound and it is the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound and the nantagondre. So, upper bound ali chikudi yaudunta tagodri that is. 1 therefore 0 is the greatest lower bound and 1 is the least upper bound for the given problem and the next example find the least upper bound and greatest lower bound for the set a defined by 1 by 5 by n for 1 by 5 by n equal to n n being the set of all integers and n is not equal to 0 so, here the set A is defined by 1 by n such that n belongs to the integers and n is a non-zero number because if n is a 0 then we will get infinity. Therefore, here we specify n in the question they have specified n is not equal to 0. Therefore, we shall find the set A. So, A equal to the set of all elements of the form 1 by 5 by n so 1 by 5 by n so we should start because it is the set of all integers and they have mentioned n is not equal to 0 then we will consider n equal to 1 2 3 etc so 1 by 5 into 1 if n is equal to plus 1 1 by 5 into 1 which will be equal to 1 by 5 if n is equal to minus 1 then we will get 1 divided by 5 into minus 1 that is minus 1 by 5 and when n is equal to 2 plus 2 we will get 1 by 10 and if n is equal to minus 2, we will get minus 1 by 10. So, plus 1 by 15 and minus 1 by 15, etc. goes on. Therefore, the set A is, uh, we will get the set A as a plus or minus 1 by 5, plus or minus 1 by 10, plus or minus 1 by 15, etc. So, here the least upper bound, you can see is upper bound. The least upper bound is 1 by 5 and the greatest lower bound in the lower bound here we have the lower bounds that is 1 minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10 minus 1 by 15 etc so in those lower bounds we have to consider the greatest one so the greatest lower bound is minus 1 by 5 and the least upper bound so upper bound is 1 by 5 1 by 10 1 by 15 etc so in that least upper bound is 1 by 5 and the next problem so find the same the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound for the set defined by a equal to 3n plus 2 divided by 2n plus 1 such that n belongs to the set of all natural numbers. So, the set a is defined as 3n plus 2, 2n plus 1 for n being a natural number. Therefore, the set contains when n is equal to 1. So, we substitute in this fraction n is equal to 1. So, 3 into 1 plus 2 divided by 2 into 1 plus 1. So, that you will get 5 by 3 when n is equal to 1. When n equal to 2, so you will get a 3 into 2, 6 plus 2 which is 8 divided by 2 into 2 plus 1. So, that is 5 and 11 by 7 etc. goes on. So, we will get the set A as 
5 by 3, 8 by 5, 11 by 7, etc. So, here also we will get the least upper bound as 5 by 3 and the greatest lower bound as 3 by 2. Least upper bound is 5 by 3 and the greatest lower bound is 3 by 2. And you can have, you can write you know, a first uh, slip test like you can write the definition of the supremum after listening to this uh, video. So, you can write the definition of the supremum, definition of the infimum. You can define the bounded set. You can define the greatest lower bound. Also, you can write the proof for if u is an upper bound of a set and u belongs to the set A, then show that u equal to supremum of u. And the next problem, you have to do this. Prove that every non-empty set of real numbers which is bounded above has the least upper bound. Prove that every non-empty set of real numbers which is bounded above has the least upper bound. And the next problem, prove that every non-empty set of real numbers which is bounded below has the greatest lower bound. Prove that every non-empty set of real numbers which is bounded below has the greatest lower bound. And this is the, these are the reference books. Thank you.